you know, my parents did some things that that I brought into our marriage that didn't work for our particular marriage, right? My wife is not my mom and I'm not my dad. And like one, one example is growing up, my dad, he uh, handled the finances, right? Like, I don't know if my mom has ever paid a bill. And so I thought that's the way it's supposed to go. The man should handle the finances. The only problem is, Back then, I sucked at handling the finances, and so just made horrible mistakes financially, investments, and 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 just put us in a in, in some horrible uh, horrible position um, early on in our marriage. And and instead of um, recognizing that my wife, that Haiti, was stronger in this area at that time, you know, I let pride get in the way, and it's like, nah, you know what? This is what the man's supposed to do. This is how it was done in my house, and so th that's how we gonna do it. <laughs> Hey Kingdom and Culture family, happy summer to you. I am so excited and so grateful that we have made it through season two and I'm so excited to share the end of this season with no one better than um, my newfound friend and big brother, Jonathan Orr. Jonathan has experienced highs and lows in his career and today he's gonna be sharing his short story of authenticity and I cannot wait for you to hear it, but do me a favor, leave a comment, like, subscribe onto Kingdom and Culture and share this episode or one of the other episodes with a friend. We um, would love to expand our community and we would love to do it with your help. So asking you to share this episode with two people that you know who may be impacted or if there's another episode during season two where someone else shared their short story of authenticity would absolutely love and be so honored for you to um, share that with those in your community. All right. Love you guys so much and looking forward to great things. All right. Uh, thank you so much for having me uh, on the show again. It's always a pleasure and um, excited to share uh, a short story. So uh, the, the story I want to talk about um, is uh, a mistake I made um, early on, or actually quite a few mistakes I made early on in my marriage um, that impacted it negatively, uh, but through God's uh, grace and, and his wisdom and just um, over the years is something that uh, we've been able to, to experience um, victory in and to get better in. And so, uh, and, it, and I guess the easy, easiest way it can be explained um, is when I first got married, um, I did not understand that my wife and I were not my parents, right? And so what I mean by that is the only real um, point of reference I had for marriage early on was what I had saw growing up. And I thought my parents did a phenomenal job still to this day, um, you know, with, with, with what they had, with the resources they had, and they did the best they could. They've been married uh, they just celebrated 55 years. And so, um, but, you know, my parents did some things that, that I brought into our marriage that didn't work for our particular marriage, right? My wife is not my mom and I'm not my dad. And like one, one example is growing up, my dad, he uh, handled the finances, right? Like, I don't know if my mom has ever paid a bill. And so I thought that's the way it's supposed to go. The man should handle the finances. The only problem is back then I sucked at handling the finances. And so just made horrible mistakes financially, investments, and and, and just put us in a in, in some horrible, uh horrible position um early on in our marriage. And and instead of um recognizing that my wife that Haiti was stronger in this area at that time, you know, I let pride get in the way. And it's like, nah, you know what? This is what the man's supposed to do. This is how it was done in my house. And so that's how we gonna do it. And and it just caused more and more problems, it caused more tension. It caused more, um, it set us back more uh, to the point where eventually we were in, in less than two years being married, we were in close to $30,000 in debt that we didn't even have to be, right? Um, just in a bad spot. Uh, and so eventually once I realized this way wasn't working, 
and, and I and, you know I like to think I started to mature a lot and I don't even know if it was mature right but sometimes you hit rock bottom and you start to realize like all right maybe the way I'm going about this isn't right and and so I just thank God because in that season um, shortly thereafter uh, that's when I started to realize like I don't have all the answers that I don't have to handle things the way my dad handled it you know we're not my parents will work for my parents isn't necessarily uh, the route we should go and so um, that that caused me to take a step back and the and the and the you know relinquish right some of those responsibilities that I wasn't doing too good at, at handling and uh, by doing that we were able to get in a, in a, in a better place um, and it gave me time to learn a lot of stuff I just didn't know right mm -hmm. and so gave me time to learn um, Haiti took the lead for that period in the area of finances and and. You know, it, it, it just gave me an opportunity to grow. And she never threw it in my face, right? Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, she was upset some of the stuff that we had got in, but she never, uh, she was just so gracious, right? And gave me that space to just grow in that area. And, you know, now we fast forward, um, you know, after three kids now, and, and, you know, we'll be celebrating 16 years of marriage uh, in a couple months. And we're just in a much better place in that area. Um, you know, in the last maybe 10 years, uh, she's handed that back to me, right? She's like, you know, I don't like doing it, but I did it because of what we needed to do. But but now just the day-to-day -day operations and things like that, um, you know, I, I, I handle. But at that early stage, I just wasn't, wasn't able to handle. So all that to say, going back, uh, I would have recognized earlier that, again, we're not my parents and that, um, you know, my wife, I wonder part of the reason God puts people together is because I believe, you know, weaknesses and strengths, right? They offset each other. And so recognizing mm -hmm. that, you know, I, I I might not be good in a certain area and my wife is, but we're still winning, right? It doesn't matter who's who's shooting the shot, who's passing the ball. Like right. the objective is, is, is to win, you know, in different areas of your life. And, and uh, you know, in marriage, in, in those areas. And so by doing that, by recognizing that, um, I wish I would have, I just wish I would have did that early, so. Yeah, that's so powerful. Like, what about being a team? Because that's really what you're saying, right? It's like, when you come, when you're separate and then you get married, you really are looking at each other as one. Mm -hmm. You got to use it as one. And so, you know, how have you guys been able to just figure out navigating being, you know, partners in a team versus two, you know, different individuals that have navigated this road. Yeah. So honestly, we're still figuring it out. Uh, yeah. So the, and you're not talking about just in finance, you're just talking about in general, right? Yeah, in general. Yeah. So I think early on, we, we recognize that, um, that, that we were one, uh, you know, after we got married. And so, um, so, you know, practical ways we did it. Like I know each couple is different, but um, just an area of finances, that's what I opened up with. Um, so all our stuff became joint, right? We didn't have separate accounts and stuff like that. Everything was 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 together. And so, and to me, you know, um, that, that, that kind of was a symbolic of, you know, we are, we are one, it's no longer yours and mine. But apart from finances, we're still learning. We were just having this conversation recently, right? Understanding that we're still growing. We're still these unique individuals, sure. but called to do life. And it's, it's a great mystery, right? Like how, how do you, and, and not only that, but who we were 16 years ago, we're, we're different now, right? In a lot of ways. Right. And so, so make being intentional and, and being conscious of that and, and being yeah. intentional about still learning each other, still making yeah, a commitment growing every together. day. Growing yeah. together mm -hmm. and, and learning to love. I, I have a, a buddy of mine, he's a he's a therapist. He was like, Man, it's about learning to love the cho choosing to love the person that's in front of you every day. Wow. Right? Wow. Yeah. Cause because you know, at the core, Haiti still is who she is, but there's mm -hmm. different aspects of her personality and, and areas she's grown in and, and things that she used to like back then that she doesn't now. And so right. yeah. um different priorities, right? So learning to love uh you know, that, that choosing to love that person and learning that person um, consistently as we evolve, so. That's great, that's great. Well, thank you for sharing your short story, Jonathan, of authenticity. 
Oh, you're welcome. My, my pleasure.